y'all. Welcome to Hood Snacks, episode one. Today we're gonna be doing my famous uh, honey glazed and cinnamon chicken, some mashed potatoes, some homemade Italian bread. And anybody care himself? I mean, I do get it in. The dinner roll got eaten by the wolves, but that's alright though. That's alright. I'm gonna probably do some green vegetables just to even anything up. But first, we're gonna start five pounds of potatoes. I know y'all thinking these niggas eat like monsters, five pounds of potatoes, but we do. Alright? Just gonna cut these up real nice and simple like. Notice the technique. <laughs> I mean, the kid is a beast. We got five pounds of potatoes. We're gonna cut them up, you know, small enough to the point where we can mash them, but not so small to the point where they mash themselves when the water's boiling. So we're gonna move on now. Show you how to do this honey glazed chicken. What we have right here is pre washed by the kid chicken quarterlets and some chicken drumsticks. We're gonna honey glaze them lightly, throw a little salt for flavor, you know, throw a little cinnamon on top just so it'll brown a little bit. But first, we'll start these potatoes because they take so long. So, you keep an eye on that. I'm gonna go throw some water in this. Now, man, we'll be there in a little bit. Alright? On Jemima's. A little water, some ground cinnamon, salt for flavor. I know y'all noses is turned up in the air right now over there. This shit is flavor. You want to stir it up just a little bit. So it'll be all mixed in. You want to dissolve the cinnamon just a little bit. Then what you want to do is lightly glaze the chicken. You want to go grab a brush and do that right in there. You want to lightly glaze it a little bit. You know, just for a little flavor. Looks like I didn't make enough sauce there. Which is a good thing for you guys, because now you can see how I did it. Feel me? Yeah, I feel me. Yeah, so I'm going to make this over. What we're going to do, got a little Jemima's right here. Just want to get a little bit of that. That's like your base right there. You know. Then you want to add some brown cinnamon. You feel me? Gotta give it the spice and the kick right there. You want to add a little salt to it. To offset the sweetness. Then you want to mix it all in. Of course, you want to add some water to it. My assistant, please. Would you uh be so kind? See how it's kind of thick and syrupy? Well, you gotta add the water to it. My assistant is coming back with that now. Ah, thank you. You are a dog. I swear. <laughs> that will loosen it all up for you. Do you want to go back to reapplying it to the chicken? You don't want none of that, cause it's full long Make your head look like Gumby's cat I'm done with that Another time, another tap We got the pill, we got the pills And it took the stack Shorty got the slip in the face Like gimme that I call a chunk, she ain't big Just a kitty fat Man, we took the block Shit nigga better get it back Anyway, you see potheads My niggas at Cool, calm, and collect it Don't get it twisted, black Make the wrong move I'm on your yeah. head like a fitted cat before you put this in the oven, you want to add a little water to it, just to the bottom doesn't burn. Not so much, you're going to get into boiling the chicken first and baking it. You want to add a little more in this pan. You want to pop this in the oven. You want to let it bake slowly because the sugar is going to burn faster than the chicken will. So we'll put it on all three pans and for around and then, in the last 10 minutes, turn the heat up, up a little bit, you know, put some more inside the chest. If you got foil at home, it's better to use some foil, and it keeps the heat and the moisture inside. If not, y'all make do what you got. Let me fix that on rack. Cause the swag's like no other He came in the post He could tell I want to Get your loan brother I'm getting a phone number You heard You better Put that in there Put your slow 
crack, sleep for turn. Ten pounds of chicken. Got some potatoes going. And uh, we'll come back when all this is done. Let's take a look at it. Back at it. You see, the chicken got nice and brown with it. You know, that's called that delectable brown beef we make here. Pan number two. Came up really good. And right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mash these potatoes. First I'm going to strain them. I have them on a little cook for a little while so they can soften up. The last thing you want is hard potatoes. That's a real impossible thing to mash. So, Yeah, just call me Breezy. Make sure where's I'm, you know. If you got power, fall back in the air. Let's do it up. Stay close to the phone on the part. That's why my shit is kind of what you were looking for. I'm sorry, chop them up a little bit. You're going to bring it back over here. Well, I should have had my utensils out. They want to see me locked up. I have a little bit of this. I'm lacking milk. I know that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to make it. I'm going to have to stick butter in that thing. I'm going to have to go to the some people take the skins off. I keep them on personally. Because I like the skins and how they look. Yeah, we just mashing that in right there. I'm gonna do to block this up. Throw a little salt and pepper. I would do syrup, but I don't want to have a whole meal that's entirely sweet. I'm gonna just dock it up a little bit. So I'm happy. Put a little pepper in there. Just a little bit, you know. You don't want to put too much because uh, people over here don't like spicy food. You know, I'm not going to say no names, point no fingers, and that like that. Put some salt in that thing. We're going to continue with the mash. You master whatever texture you prefer. Some people like it like water, but for mine's a little stiff to keep the flavor in there. You know? Yeah, that sounds like some type of vagina right there. That's how you know it's done. Tell me. When you do a tight vagina, you eat it. Let's go. The smell is just about done. Just waiting for the veggies right there. Put the veggies is done boiling. Be all set. I'll string them, put some butter in there, some salt and pepper. And that's about it. So I'm going to catch you all next time on Hood Snacks. The Kid A. Yer. Signing out. My years, my tears explode too. I'm not below you. Critics, I choke you and throw you your old news. Folks who I post to will know through my flow news. Success doesn't owe you. Old fools are so loose to folks who provoked you. Your dreams can't be so, but we control you. My post and my liver, I will pull